Hello, hello, hello. How are you this morning? It's Robin John Rosenhouse. I'm so happy to be here with you as always. I am here to bring you the quick and dirty version of business this week. Okay, so the business energy. What do you most need to know from this week or for this week? So I specifically asked what I could share with you guys that would increase your probability of increasing your prosperity. And so several things came up. And of course, if you want the full edition, you need to sign up for uh, business this week. And so you can get the emails and get the link to the full videos. But one of the concepts that came through was, this is going to sound woo woo. All right. Just be ready. Taking time literally setting a timer for anywhere from one to five minutes to be by yourself and send love to the universe. Start with your family, start with your loved ones. Don't forget to send it to your business and your bank accounts. This is one of the things that we talk about in 30K in 30 days. You want to not forget that your business, your bank accounts, your job, your place of work, all of that affects your prosperity and love energy does help clear the way for more. But we want to expand this even more, okay? I mean, remembering that truly you know, when you look at this from a quantum physics perspective, right, we truly are all one, like literally, it's not just a spiritual concept. All of our energy affects the other person's energy. So that means even the people out there who are bad, who are violent, who you really just sometimes want to wish off the face of the earth, we're all still connected and we're all still part of that one. So by radiating the spiritual love energy, I'm not saying for you to sit there and think about your enemy and go, oh my God, I love you. Will you please hurt me again? Because we're just all part of the same one and I love you and you can treat me like a doormat. No, <laughs> not at all. You're sending love to the part of them that is that does have that divine soul. And that's what you want to do. The reason that you want to continue to radiate love and send love even to the people that you don't like, even to the people who are evil, even to the people who are not nice, right? Is because they're that way due to lack of love in some way, shape, or form. So they were hurt they were traumatized. They have some kind of chemical mismatch going on in their brain and their body. They were taught to behave in a certain way by somebody else who was missing love in their life. And so when you send love to even them, you increase the probability of them healing and the and then their um, actions changing, and they've proven this like with with they've done experiments with prayer circles and things like that where d deep focused love has reduced violence in in certain areas and you know but the thing is it it's got to be consistent right. So every day this week at least, set your timer for one to five minutes and start sending love. However you do it, whether you pray, whether you sit at an altar, whether you meditate, or whether you just imagine, right? Whatever it is, however you do it, send love. 
to everybody. Just everybody. And if you don't feel like you can do it yourself, and and uh, you you have a, a belief and a connection with God, ask God to do it. You know, God, I'm not in a place where I can shift my my head to send love to all these people that I don't think deserve it. But I know that we're all you know children of the same being, so. I'm asking you to do it on my behalf. That's all. You can do that. Or ask the goddess to do that. If you don't feel like you're in that place. But this is one of the things, like this was one of the top concepts that came through when I asked for the message for the week for how to increase your prosperity. And I'll tell you what, though, what, what I believe is part of the reason that this came through, everybody is on such edge right now, more than ever. Like, we just, it just keeps increasing. Every time we think that we're in a, in a space where as, as um, even as a community, right, where, where we think, oh, my, okay. Things are slowing down. Things are calming down. I can take a few minutes to breathe. Something else gets manufactured. You know, some, like, it, it's just amazing. When there's not a whole lot of bad going on, what we perceive as bad, somebody manufactures it to keep you on edge, right? To keep up the viewership, all of this stuff. So... Sending out the love, spending this one to five minutes of just being in that space of love and sending out love has been proven to, to start to reset your nervous system, your central nervous system. If you do this on a continuous basis, it will help reduce cortisol levels. It will help reduce adrenaline. It will help your adrenals. All of that will help to reduce your anxiety. It will help to reduce your worry. All of that will help to increase your feelings of self-trust, your clarity, your ability to take um, uh, 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 action, conscious actions, your ability to, to respond to someone in a more thoughtful way rather than react, in a more healthy and beneficial way rather than react. It also helps you to keep from letting your emotions be the driver. You don't want that for sure. Even your happy emotions, you don't want them to be the driver. Because then you're not driving. So you want to be able to connect the mind and the heart. So that you're able to make a decision as, as an entire being. Right? So I'm going to, a little bit of a rant. Like a lot of spiritual um, um, communities and teachers and, and whatnot. Like they, they talk about how... Um, like how, how to be spiritual all the time without taking into account that you are in fact human. Like we're here to have the human experience. So it's, it's awesome to look at everything only through the spiritual lens. It's really beautiful. Uh, and looking at life through the spiritual lens is not only, right, only, is not going to keep a roof over your head. It's just not. You still have to remember that you have this human body, that you have these human emotions. And so the key is, how, how do I combine them? How do I live my life in a way 
where I can keep these spiritual, you know, concepts in mind and be a good human. Spend one to five minutes every day sending love. And that will help also give you the clarity that you need to serve the human part of you that does have need of financial resources, a.k.a. cash. Because let me tell you, even even the the spiritual communities need cash. So, keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that a week from tomorrow, 30K to 30, 30K in 30 days starts. I am very, very, very excited about it. Doors close down October 31st, I will tell you that. So, doors close down next Sunday. Um because I need to make sure that everybody is in, everybody is settled, whatever. Doors close October 31st. We start November 1st. So if you want to join us, go to my website, robinjrosenhouse.com, click on 30K in 30 days. It's 30 bucks, and it will give you tools and tips and tricks like you've never gotten for 30 bucks before. That's for heck sure. And I mean, come on, last time we ran this, we had somebody, when one of our, one of our members manifested over $276,000 in 30 days, 30 days for 30 bucks. Come on. Somebody else, her house. Oh my gosh. She could not sell her house. Like people. It, it wasn't like today, right? I mean, people were, it was like our house was, was, was invisible. And in the 30 K in 30 days, she not only got a buyer, it was a cash buyer. They bought for over asking and it was enough for them to buy a new house, pay off their debt and take a trip. 30 dollars what could it be for you robinjrosenhouse.com click on 30k in 30 days get signed up hop in the facebook group we meet live uh one well ten, one day a week mondays um at 12 30 and then at 7 30 eastern you don't have to attend live it's nice if you can but you don't have to the replays will be in the group Come join us. All right, guys. It's Robin John Rosenhouse. I will be back here with you guys tomorrow to uh, share your daily energy report. Have a great day. Bye-bye.